Hi, this is Rabbi Arshamez of Torah Judaism International and Beth Ami, here to give you Judaism in a nutshell. What is Judaism? What do you have to do and what do you have to believe? Simple. Everything has to go back to the five books of Moses. My friends, if what you believe does not have its roots in the five books of Moses, you are in the wrong religion. So Judaism is made up of what we call the oral law and the written law. What is the written law? Again, the five books of Moses, what people call the Humash or the Torah. What's the oral law? The rulings that come from the court, the great court, also known as the elders, the men in the great assembly, the Sanhedrin. The court, the Beit Din Hagadol, that is what makes up the oral law. How does that tie back into Torah? Deuteronomy chapter 17 tells us that we have to obey, we have to heed the instructions that come from this court, that by not listening to them, we would not be listening to God. Next, what is the written law and what power does it have in our belief system? Well, it's the written law that tells you what you must believe in. And it's the oral law that tells you how do you illustrate these mitzvot. Let's be clear. If there's anything regarding belief that does not stem from the five books of Moses in rabbinic literature or what we call oral law, it is not an obligatory belief. It's an optional belief. Fine. So it's not necessarily part of Judaism. So again, the five books of Moses lays down belief. Metaphysical belief has to come from the five books of Moses, not the prophets or the writings, but the revelation that we received on Mount Sinai for it to be binding, for it to be obligatory to believe. So all belief especially metaphysical beliefs, has to stem from the five books of Moses. But everything legal has to come both from the five books of Moses and what we call the oral law. Again, we have the five books of Moses to lay down metaphysical belief and what we do. And we have what's called halakha, oral law, rabbinic Judaism, uh, to illustrate what we do. And the only reason we keep what's called the oral law is because it's sanctioned by the first part, by the five books of Moses. It's sanctioned by the Torah. And that's pretty much all Judaism is. Now, how can one know the oral law? How can one get a copy for themselves? Easy. Well, what we call the oral law today is really just the Mishnah. The Mishnah and Mishnaic literature, the Toseftot, uh, the Braitot, and on and on. Now, how can the average person know what's in the oral law? Easy. I tell them to start with Mishneh Torah and even remain in Mishneh Torah if they want to. Mishneh Torah is the Rambam's work where he codified all of the oral law into 14 volumes. And this you can even find in Chabad.org, all in English, for free. So there you have it, Mishneh Torah, which literally means the second Torah, and then the initial Torah, which is the five books of Moses. So then all you have to master as a Jew to master Judaism is memorize the five books of Moses and be proficient in Mishneh Torah, in the Rambam's codification of Allah Halakha or any codification uh, of our Halachot. The, the thing is, the Rambam is the only codification that's complete. So that's the one I recommend. So that's it. Master the five books of Moses and master Mishneh Torah and you've mastered Judaism. Then you have time to live your life, have fun, and make more Jews. For more information about everything Jewish, please visit TorahJudaism.com. Thank you.